Uh, this is what we're doing on our first pass. We are gonna be leaving on six pounds of dome pressure and ramping up to 10 pounds of dome pressure at one and a half seconds into the run. And that'll be putting in about 15 pounds of boost. So we're gonna get this sent over to the computer and then we're ready to rip. Hey guys, we got Kyle back. He's helping me out today. He had a big power super and he actually knows Sam from like 10, 15 years ago. So he and I are gonna be working together today, get this thing down the track, make some clean passes. All right, I present to you the helmet of the 2023 season. This guy, Neil, I'll put it a link in the description of his Instagram, but I sent him a brand new white race clip helmet and this is what he sent back to me. His attention to detail, his margins, his lines, the the clear, everything is just perfect on this thing. This is not a wrap, this is actual paint. So pretty excited about it, thanks Neil. So if you watch that video, you see the car stuck the tire left, hiked up the front end, and then the rear starts to follow it. Yeah, and then it just stopped it landing the tire. Yep. So we're trying to slow that down by tightening it up. So it looks like leaving on 11 pounds is a little sporty for this car. So we're gonna, what'd you say? I said sporty. Sporty. You're only running a fucking 235. <laughs> it's 850. Yeah, it's for the class. Oh, man. I know. Yeah, no Here's something crazy. That's the first time this car has ever spun. Really? Ever. Well, it won't be the last well, well, you got a little tire. Well, I know. I got the little baby get tire. Kyle's yeah. giving me crap about it. He's making fun of my tires. Get Show me what she did, brother. What did we get? Let's see what she did to the 60 foot and the eighth mile. That's what I'm kind of concerned about. <laughs> one, two, five. So we got a little bit of room there and we did a five, two to the, uh, to the eighth. So I'm happy with that, right? I we're, mean, we're gonna turn it up a little bit. Think, what about on the leave? Track. Leave, it left really nice that time. I know, you think it's got no more in spin. it though? Chilly it's close. today. It's close. I think we should ease into it. All we'll right. We'll get her there. So if we're pushing like, seven pounds on the leave now if we turn it up another pound and ramp in the boost a little sooner and higher down track Just Almost one pound of boost? Half. Almost a tenth and a half. It went one thirteen. Oh, seven. we went a five thirteen to the eighth and a one two oh six. Look how much mile yeah. an hour it picked up. It went one thirty four last pass, it just went one forty one. Bro. Dude, that's enormous. <laughs> With oh one pound God. of boost difference. And it's not even iced and down. Look, it went one twenty five. The pass before went one twenty five to sixty. Christ. Oh my gosh. So five hundred is faster, which is one pound of boost on the yeah, lift. Half a tenth. And then a tenth and a half at the eight. Part three was a solid rip. We left on eight and a half pounds, ramped it all the way up to its peak, which was around 16.3 pounds. Everything's working on the car, so we have room to turn it up, and that's what we're gonna keep doing today.
not sure what happened there, but I think we might have just heard it. The car shut off in the middle of the pass, and now it won't start. So I saw the Holly reset, so I don't know if there's something going on with the connection to the Holly, but basically we lost power and now we're stuck at the end of the track. Kyle, I found the problem. <laughs> Our negative battery terminal, which in all honesty has probably come to the end of its day, is vibrating off. Dude, that's hilarious. Well, easy fix, but... Yeah. Negative battery terminal. Hey, hey, hey. Grab your toothbrush, let's tighten it down. <laughs> we'll scrub it off real quick. Yeah. The run right about where it's gonna shift, the car turned off, turned back on, it turned off and turned back on again. And what it did is it kind of flashed the trans brake. You know, all the Mac valves and everything kind of sputter when you turn on the Holly, everything kind of gets flashed with power real quick. So that's why the rear wheel's locked up. So we got the negative terminal back on and tight. We're gonna go do another lick. We didn't adjust anything in the 60 foot. What Everything's after that? it. What, what did we leave at? Eight pounds again. You wait for eight and a half? Just eight-ish, you know? It was 8.6 on the last one. Okay. All right, guys, here's the uh, pass from before versus this last pass. Pretty much the exact same time, the eighth, 513, 513, 141 at 140. 60 foot was 200 slower, but we turned it up higher up top, I think. I mean, I, I would assume I put that bigger tune in it, but. We're just gonna keep turning it up up top after about it. Consistency is there, so that's good. Yeah, the consistency is there, and we want to turn it up after about a second and a half into the run. That way, we know we're past the 60 foot. Like the car is hooked, and we can just start ramping in a lot more boost because the car. All right, this is gonna be the difference between this fifth and sixth pass that we've done. This was pass number five, and then pass number six. I'm gonna bring in the boost a little bit sooner, and peak a little bit sooner. And by sooner, I mean about two tenths of a second. So we'll be commanding 16 pounds of dome pressure at 1.4 seconds instead of three and a half. This thing shut off on its own when it stopped sensing movement. I wish. Oh. So it's still recording right now? The red light flash. Yeah, it is. Damn, that's gonna be a rip of a file. <laughs> <laughs> Like the car was breaking up and Kyle thinks he heard it too. What was our time? Uh, we got a 5.1. That's faster. 135. Lost. lost a mile an hour, but it's a faster time. All right, let's see what the plugs look like. Since she was breaking up a little, we're gonna start looking at some plugs, see what's going on. Our air to fuel is fine, but uh, oh, pretty clean. Pretty clean yeah, really clean actually. done seven passes today and the car's still breaking up we're gonna pull the plugs and see where the gaps are at see if we can't dial them in but dr tunamal is thinking that i might need some big boy coils at this point like screamed a little bit though before it started breaking up. I don't know if you can hear any difference in the car, but outside the car it sounded more like, like more in the RPM before it started breaking up. 
All right, if you guys could leave in the comments any ideas of why you think the car is breaking up so I know what to look into. Basically, what's happening is anytime it gets over 6,000 RPM, it starts to fluctuate each way, about 100 RPM. All the pressures are fine. The voltage drops to about high 11s. So I'm feeling a little bit lost on what to look into. If you guys enjoy this kind of content or you enjoyed the video, I've been putting a little bit more time into the editing and the process and really been learning a lot. Leave me a subscribe. It means a lot to me just to be able to share all these times and experiences and fun with all y'all. And I hope you enjoyed it as well. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you've been wrenching on your car, need a 10 millimeter wrench, plowing a bag of flaming hot Cheetos and drinking a Dr. Pepper and realize, dang it, I really need to brush my teeth. Well, now's your chance. I'm talking Dr. Parker's 10 millimeter tool brush, a toothbrush on one end, a 10 millimeter wrench on the other. This sucker, CNC billet aluminum, baby. Lifetime warranty. Get them now at CletusMcFarland.com.